transfers. We just had a placeholder for this, but we don't have any reserve fund transfers, so um, pass up pass right along to agenda item number three, which is to approve the minutes. And Linda had sent these out yester yesterday. Yeah, mm -hmm. I have to redo a couple of things on the ones I sent out, so don't. Okay. So I had noted, we had already approved June 26th, I thought. Um, so it was just April 30th, May 7th, July 10th, and September 18th. Um, Were, was there something on all of them that need to be? Or can, no, is there some? Not, the, not the June 26th, just all of them. And it's like on the last page, unanimous you, and on the 18th, something for Larry, that something was said the wrong way um, on the Council of Aging, and I just have to fix that one. Right, so the 18th we definitely need to fix, but for the other ones, was the only change just the unanimous? unanimous um, or have you guys had a chance to look no, at them? Never. Do you want to take time to review it sure. now? Would you rather? Um, yeah, did you have anything unanimous. else, Larry, besides the unanimous thing? Uh, I don't think so. On on the July 10th, again, I'm sure we already voted on the June 26th, so May 7th and April 30th. June 26th um, was just changes that I made. I mean, correction. Just some minor updates, yeah. right, right, because we had looked at that, that and May 7th we had looked at Oh, and the 30th oh and there was the one other thing, uh, I think on September September 18th I had also actually the next meeting we said would be um, October 30th and then the, the 11th of December, which is the Tuesday. Is that the one we had, the 11th and 12th? Yeah. Okay. So while you're making the other correction, you can just get rid of the 12th. Yeah, he has that on there. Okay. And what was the other thing, Larry? Oh, that, that was it. Oh, okay. <coughs> okay. So we're not going to vote on the Tuesday, September 18th. <coughs> but July 10th. Does anybody have any questions on those? Can I have a motion to approve these? I make the motion we approve the okay. meeting, uh, meeting minutes of July 10th. Okay. And a second? I'll second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So then, Tuesday, June 26th minutes. Again, I think these were both. Those, those were. I think they were approved. Just make Is that what I just said? Yeah. I'm losing. Okay. I had to just fix Jane's name. Okay. Where did I just put my sheet? Okay, so those are already done, so we don't need to talk about those. Then, um, so May 7th, um, I think again these were just, we had looked at these before. Yeah, I think it was May 7th and, or typos. and April 30th, right. we had just asked for a few minor changes, but I don't see, I didn't see anything. Just the, the last page you read is the word you yeah. Okay, okay, but I think that's fine. Did anybody else have anything else? Mm -hmm. Okay, do I have a motion to approve these minutes? I'm going to make a motion to approve May 7th. Okay. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, great. Hello. Hi. We're just approving minutes. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay, so last but not least, April 30th. The same with, I think, the last page is the year. Yeah. yeah. So. I'll make a motion to approve the April 30th okay. meeting minutes. Okay. Do I have second. A second. Okay. So, Larry, all in favor? Aye. Okay. Approved. All right. <clears throat> So, so next on the agenda um, was signing any payroll or vendor vouchers, but Debbie had indicated that there are none for tonight's meeting. Um, she says here, Linda, you'll be you'll be sending your work hours to Amy Lydon soon. Yeah. So for the next I'll meeting. I'll contact her to, um, Thursday. Okay. To ask her what she needs, she'll come. And Okay. Okay, so then we have a meeting scheduled for December 11th and we can approve it then. So, um, okay. So next on the agenda was to discuss finance committee regulations and operating procedures. Larry had um, been reading the um, article that we, where we had changed the finance committee um, number of members at the town meeting. And he had um, noticed there was a reference to the Finance Committee's operating procedures, and he asked me for a copy of them. And I said, gee, I've never seen them. <laughs> <laughs> so then I was asking Debbie, um, and she wasn't aware of any. I don't know if any of you have ever seen anything like that. Mm -hmm. So I thought it would be good to just have a discussion here, and maybe we can... Um, come up with some or just put in writing. I think we've already talked in different meetings about things we'd like to do, particularly for the upcoming budget season. Um, so I had for being really organized. <laughs> um, all right, well, we had discussed like different things and I thought I could even take notes in this meeting and then bullet them out and um, we could finalize them at the next meeting maybe about the, how we'd want to, just general operating processes and procedures, whatever. Um, so some things that Debbie had put out here, schedule regular meetings and going out for the calendar year rather than just ad hoc. Mm. Um, process for placement of items on meeting agendas. Well, that, that's a good point because we kind of just have relied on Jack to create a, a, an agenda, or I've given stuff to Debbie, but we haven't really had a, um, really a process for that. But I, I like this one, but if anybody has anything they want to talk about, just let me or Jack know for now. Um, and we have already appointed people um, for the town boards and committees, but I think that's a good one to have in writing on our operating procedures. Um, location of, and storage of the official meeting minutes, that's come up in the past, so that's also good to have. I like all these that Debbie has put on here. <laughs> um, reorganization of the Finance Committee annually, I'm not sure what that means exactly. Typically, appoint a <coughs> chairman and vice chairman. Oh, uh, okay. How that works. Okay. You know, we 
somebody that's not the actual yeah. member of the committee doing your minutes, so that would be the clerk. Yeah. Or okay. secretary. Yeah. Um, use the Roberts Rules of Order process. Anybody familiar with the Roberts Rule of Order? Uh, yes, very parliamentary. What it? Uh, yes, about you know <clears throat> making motions, the right order uh, of okay. uh, conducting business. Okay. Uh, so how we do? You know, make a motion, second. Second. Okay. Oh, that's right. Okay. So we're doing that. Okay. Mm, right. Okay. But I don't think we should adhere to it too strictly because you know it's usually. You know, then there's a d discussion pro and con, and uh, it, it can get to be very uh, time consuming. Mm -hmm. But uh, we should be familiar with it because then we can point out if someone is maybe speaking out of turn that yep. they're out of order or so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, so, also one thing that Larry had brought up at the last meeting was as far as voting on tra interdepartment tra budget transfers, um, rather than just getting the transfer amount from to account, we should really be taking a look at the balances of those accounts to see, you know, where they stand as far as where the request goes. I think our assumption is Debbie's checked it or Jack has mm -hmm. checked it or whatever, but. We should really see it, and that's why Debbie had given us this listing for tonight. But in the end, then there were no transfers to to be approved. But I I would like to add that one too. I think that was a good idea. Um, and then some of the things that we talked about as far as the last budget season um, was maybe taking a look at all of the requests before voting individually on each one and taking some time like listening to the people present their whatever proposal they have and then waiting until we have all the proposals at least on the bigger budgets um, to um, to really vote on them so that we are seeing the full picture before we're just as I think we some of us felt anyway that we were voting on some things increases and then it seemed unfair in other cases right. sometimes so um, any other ideas come to mind anybody <laughs> what about the uh, videotape is that uh, under our control or is that something separate the fact that these meetings are videotaped well it, like we're keeping track of all of our meeting yeah. minutes and stuff. I'm just wondering yeah. about the videotapes, whether that is something that we should be concerned about as far as uh, storage or because, you know, the, the information in there is, we'll say, a lot more detailed than oh. what we normally have in the minutes. We could add it maybe <coughs> to the minutes that it is be that it has been broadcast mm -hmm. so that then it's known that it is available. But I think I, that, I think that's a question for Debbie about the storage of the video. I mean, the discs are available if you if you want it. Mm -hmm. I know some of the boards and committees use the videotape sometimes to back up their minutes, to write their minutes. If right. They have a question on what something might have been said or how it was said or who made the motion or that type of thing, they use the video to do that. And one of the things you might want to consider is when you open the meeting, mm -hmm. uh, if you're being videoed, mm -hmm. that you make an announcement. That the meeting is being audio and video recorded. Okay. So that the audience knows if somebody's in the audience, they know that that's what's happening. Okay. Yep. And then I agree, we should note it. It would be a good idea to note it in the minutes. Um, but who? So, who? St where are? Where are they stored? Well, actually, it's the, on on the network. The director or? of RMC has all of those uh, down in the uh, control room. Oh, okay. So if you, just, if you wanted a copy of the disc, you just ask for it, and they'll make a copy and get it to you. Who's RMC? Uh, Raleigh, Raleigh. Raleigh Community Media. Oh, okay. And it's Janet Morrissey. Okay. So I just don't know whether we should be 
charged with <clears throat> uh, keeping a copy of that as we would be with the, the regular the written minutes. minutes or yeah. so. Personally, I'd rather not be responsible for yeah. more storage if we have accurate written minutes. I think that's our responsibility. Yes. But the other one is like an added bonus to have another record of what was discussed. To be honest, I'm not sure. I, I, it, it's probably a public record, the, the disk itself. Mm -hmm. So if you had a public records request, they would request electronic media. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure that they're saving them, and, and Janet's probably saving them down there in the mm -hmm. office. Mm -hmm. So, and the minutes, of course, are the official. Record. Record of yeah. the day. Yeah. So, because that is voted and accepted. Right, right. Right. We never, well, not that the video is going to lie. It was, it's just a record, but we never really review it. Hello. So, hello. Primary responsibility for keeping the DVDs is oh. Rowley Community Media. Okay. If you'd like to keep a copy for your own records, you can. Um, we provide it to boards for free. Okay. And we've also started uploading all of our meetings to YouTube, so you can find them online. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> okay. Well, great. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. How is it under YouTube? How is it listed? It's under Rally Community Media. You can find it by searching or for um, just going to our website. We link stuff with each of the entries for the meetings, because so we've got a show search on our own website. Okay. Usually takes a day or two before it's uploaded, but it gets there. Right. Does it get many hits? <laughs> I haven't kept track of that yet, but we will be. <laughs> Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you very Thanks. much. Mm. Track of analytics on our YouTube hits. <laughs> So, um, okay, so as far as the procedures, does anybody else have anything offhand that they can think of? Well, I have one question about uh, reorganizing the Finance Committee. Mm -hmm. Now, is that just a discussion, but that people in those roles can stay in those roles for longer terms? Or do we truly need to restructure and have a new chairman? You don't necessarily us? need to have a chairman, but typically after the uh, town election, uh, most of the boards reorg what they call reorganize, and some of them have had the same people doing the same job for the last 20 years, and okay. others will rotate it around. Yeah, at least given the opportunity to switch if people mm -hmm. yeah. want to, or if new members come on board, exactly. then uh, you know, you can, we can have the opportunity to restructure or redo some of the uh, liaisons or whatever, I would imagine. Mm -hmm. okay. This kind of makes it a little bit more official. Yeah. And when the town clerk does the town reports, listing all of the appointed officials and elected officers, uh, she will mention the, who the chairman is in that report. Right. They'll designate the chairman as the chairman. And so it makes it easier for people to, if they want to contact somebody and right. they want to talk to the chairman. You know who that is. Right. Now, a year ago in May, I remember we did that. We never did it. We never had anything like that um, this year. Do we want to do that at this point, at the next meeting? Do we need to wait for Jack? Yeah, I don't know what his status will be. Yeah, I mean, this late in the game, I don't think yeah. it would be necessary. I mean, okay. It, you just that the next time when we. The appointments are made on a yearly basis. Is that how that works? I'm not yes. sure how Joe and makes them. On the, a yearly the term, basis. well, normally the terms end in May or June, yeah. and that's when it's, Joan is reappointed. It's typically after, I think it's after the election that most of the yeah. on the elected officials. Right, right. And after town meeting on the others, probably. Okay. So. Okay. Which is within a week of each other, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how about if I take what um, Debbie has put here and I'll <coughs> find the list that I had typed up and I'll just circulate it and then we can, so you can think about it and we can um, fine tune it at the next meeting. 
on the agenda is updates on the boards, commissions, or departments that we're all liaisons to. So, Peter, I'll defer to you for the schools. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think. I don't know if there's anything. I mean, dated. The, as far as the, the meetings that I've, a couple that I've gone to have really stuff financial budget piece seems like that's usually the last thing on the table and they don't really don't really talk too much about that piece mm -hmm. it's more everything else that they're talking about you know with the about the school about what they you know about the MCAS scores and where they're going mm -hmm. with that um, trying to think what there was what they talked about with the budget um, uh, what's her name basically spearheads the budget um, the um, you, you know who Robin. I'm talking about? Robin, yes. yeah. And, uh, and I don't think there was anything that I can remember that jumped out at me that, you know, because it's so early still in the game yet. And, mm -hmm. and uh, <coughs> you know, uh, there's nothing that I can, that I can really add to what, you mm -hmm. know, they discussed, yeah. you know, right now. Uh, One thing that I would just add for, they have, um, started up again these they're calling it a communications meeting it used to be the budget advisory meetings last year mm -hmm. and they had the kickoff meeting maybe a month and a half ago and the next meeting is Thursday um, and they were just asking for agenda items from anybody around the table and there were agenda items that weren't necessarily related to finances um, but the ones that were finance related that um, that I'm recalling um, one was regarding the, po the, the payment of the police officer at the school that Newbury would like to not be funding that entirely on their, um, their budget. Um, so they were asked to put together some kind of a presentation, some kind of a proposal um, detailing how many hours or what they propose and what the cost would be if it were to be shared, or would it probably should be shared. Um, so that was one thing financial related. And then the other thing that was brought up um, was about the um, retirement benefits offered to teachers and the projections by the state auditors um, of those costs over 10 years. It's going to be tens of millions of dollars according to these audit reports. Mm -hmm. So um, that is a, an item for future discussion in those meetings. So I think that those were two good financial related items to get on the table. So. so, Janet, anything on the fire department? I have not met with um, Chief Broderick. I have a meeting um, for mid-November. Okay. Do they have regular meetings or you're just meeting independently with him? To I'm just touch? meeting with him. Oh, okay. Okay. So the whole safety building thing is that the safety totally building important? is uh, we had a meeting um, a couple weeks ago and then we'll have another meeting um, towards again mid-november okay. um, it's it's just a very difficult process because um, it the first step is to decide where the building's going to be mm -hmm. and the RFPs that went out last spring were incomplete so none of those properties could be considered um, and there is very little land in town that's suitable for a fire station that the town owns. We looked at all the town-owned property, and there's really nothing that um, is vacant and suitable for building. Okay. Could the RFPs be, would, could they just be completed then, and then those properties reconsidered or no? Um, it's there. It's a possibility, but the question that was left off had to do with um, there's a special title. Twenty one e. Twenty one e. So it has to do with like really hazardous waste. Yeah. So if you know there's anything in the ground, oil tanks or just waste, or then that hell has to be um, disclosed if they know about it. Mm -hmm. um, so those. 
that piece was left off the um, questioning. Yeah. Not sure, you know, the, you can't read anything into that, mm -hmm. but um, without that, you, uh, the town really should get involved in that kind of property if, if that right. situation does exist. Right. Okay. As far as the RFP itself goes, if they decided there was a, a need, they could reissue the RFP with a different set of requirements. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll run into that on a couple of our present projects, such as the windows upstairs. Uh, that replacement there on the windows uh, came over budget. So now mm -hmm. we're rewriting the uh, proposal and then reissuing it to try to uh, get the, the budget down a little bit lower so that we can oh, get I it see. Yep. with the funds that are available. Yeah. Okay. So those are the, and we did the same thing with the, with the cemetery fence. Mm -hmm. uh, those came in uh, over budget also, and we re rewrote the issue uh, and, and issued a new RFP. Mm -hmm. And uh, that one's coming up. I think it's already been opened and there's going to be a recommendation within a, a week or so. So you can actually reissue. Yeah. Um, without really having to start from scratch again. Right, okay. It's a huge process, but. <laughs> okay. So as for the safety building, though, there's nothing going to happen anytime soon. On that. Um, you know, it's it, we're meeting and we'll have to see where things go, but um, based on the size of land, there is hasn't nothing has become available. Yeah, um, the RFP was out to all. I mean, you could have had a house, and mm -hmm. if you could have been willing to sell it, but no one has come forward with um, a piece of land that you know has to be centrally located. Yeah, you want to make sure that it's um, doesn't have anything any hazardous waste things like that. Yeah. Um, so I, I don't, I mean, the next step would be what if, if we don't find land, mm -hmm. then what would the next step be? Does it, do we look to, um, you know, redo the firehouse where it is? Mm -hmm. Is that even an option? So mm -hmm. still very early in the stage of yeah. trying to figure out next steps. Okay. Unfortunately, it's very slow because it's been over a year. So yeah. we'll keep plugging away at it. Okay. All right, and then um, next was Jamie's police department um, and water department update, and she had sent um, an update that Debbie included in our packet here. So, um, Peter, I don't know if you had anything more to say for the, you're also a rep to the water department? Uh, well, I spoke to the well, because I couldn't make, I was going to go uh, last Thursday, <coughs> but I wasn't feeling good, so I couldn't make it. Mm -hmm. And then, sh um, what's her name? The business manager at the water department said that uh, because I really think that it would be more ins ins instrumental to go when they talk, when they have like a, a meeting and they discuss things, you know, and uh, you know, in front of the board in terms of you know having you know, uh, f you know that that would be beneficial, more beneficial to know what, you know, what type of issues and things are going on. So, so, um, I don't, I forget, uh, what's the name, the business manager? Laura. 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 Mm -hmm. She said that she would contact me when they, you know, they haven't set up a date yet and she would let me know and, and, and then I'm planning on attending that. So, that's, um, mm -hmm. that's all what I have with the water. Okay. Thank you. And then Larry and the highway, anything going on there? Uh, no, I haven't talked with uh, Scott. I'm going to try to catch him between now and first snowfall or so just to get an idea of what's going on, but uh, I haven't talked with him. Okay. Uh, I've been to the Council on Aging mm -hmm. uh, meeting, and uh, <clears throat> there were just minor discussions, nothing really on finance. But you know more on uh, some of their upcoming events and flu season shots and yeah. uh, things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, they did mention that uh, they do have uh, certain funds that they get a grant uh, for, we'll say each year or so. But since that is uh, a very unlikely source of income, they don't count it for anything. 
mm -hmm. and that uh, some of their uh, other expenses not really on the budget are paid for by the uh, friends of the council and also by the uh, by the staff themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, but so far they haven't gotten into anything as far as next year's budget. Okay. Okay. So, next on the agenda is to discuss a meeting schedule. We have a meeting scheduled already for Tuesday, December 11th. Do we want to schedule one out for January? Just to have one on there, on the agenda. Okay. Bring a calendar. <clears throat> Oh, great. Thank you. Um, Tuesdays seem to work for everybody, so do we want Actually, to say? Is oh. any way we could do non-Tuesday? Oh, a non-Tuesday? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, that's okay with me? Is that? I have fi uh, fire on Wednesdays, but um, uh, it's very, sp it's not set schedule, so. Um, okay. And that happened last mm -hmm. year as well, so that's fine. Okay. Are you thinking Wednesday? Either, yeah, any day other than Tuesday. Monday? That's fine. Mondays are generally selectmen's meetings, so oh, okay. it doesn't necessarily mean you don't have to meet. Yeah. Maybe at the library or something like that, but the you would be is here. generally booked here for the selectmen. Mm -hmm. Well, that might interfere with the TV recording. Video, yeah. We could do Wednesdays, I would say. Is that Wednesday just for January? Yes. Yeah, we're not saying a regular. Yeah. Is, oh, it's only for January. Well, we already year. booked the December one, so. But going forward, are Wednesdays better for you? Yes, much for better. the rest of the year. Yeah. Okay. So, do we want to say Wednesday, January sixteenth? Do we want to? That's fine. Good. Thanks very much. Uh -huh. Seven fifteen. Seven fifteen. Yes. Hmm. Do we? Do you want to consider changing the December meeting? Would that make it? Definitely, yeah. Is that it okay with everyone to switch to? I mean, it hasn't been posted, so now's the time. Yeah. Do um, you want to do that? So, Change Wednesday, 12th. December 12th. Oh. Okay. You do realize that's 12, 12, 12. 12, 12, 12. That's <laughs> 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 we should be able to remember that one. So, okay. Do we want to schedule them out for the rest of the budget season or just play, play it by ear until we well, get a feel for things? We went a month and a half, right, from this meeting to December. Yeah. So I'm just not certain, if, is there enough business to keep yeah, us yeah. on a monthly schedule? Yeah. I, we spend so much time when it gets really busy. Yeah. It's just, um, not that I don't like seeing all of you, but, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't... I think we yeah. don't need to come and then just have nothing really to um, right, right. report. So just keep January 16th and we'll see how things go by at that point. Okay. And if there's no nothing to talk about on in January, we don't have to necessarily meet, but okay. So it is seven minutes of eight. Do I have a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Okay. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you.